Welcome everyone to today's vintage episode. The reason I messed with these floppy drives is because I found a copy of AutoCAD. I don't find the originals right now. This is some um, AutoCAD 2 or 3 or something from the 80s or I guess. This is some PC backup apparently and I didn't find anything with PC backup on the internet and Urban Dunbar and whatsoever. So I found in the basement also PC tools from what was it, Norton or something? And I hope that this was a PC backup used for this. Because I actually have a professional schooling of AutoCAD for three years as German apprenticeship thing. So I professionally did technical drawings with AutoCAD 13 and 14 on Windows NT 3.5 and 4.0 20 years ago. So I actually wanted to see how AutoCAD looked in the 80s and if I'm able to operate this vintage copy of AutoCAD. Um, do we even have enough 6 megabyte free? That is probably... Maybe I have to delete here something. And also this floppy. So this floppy didn't work with this adapter PCB thing there for this older fashioned edge connectors in contrast to this newer style pressed regular pin header. And yesterday on this five and a quarter inch floppy I saw that the jumper was on drive select one instead of zero. So today I tried changing this from 0 to 1 and then it indeed works with this adapter PCB thing. Before the other week I only used the floppy drive without this adapter plate. So, or is this also additionally jumpered? Maybe this is additionally jumpered to drive select 1. Actually it is jumpered for drive select 1, yeah so, but anyways with this adapter PCB and this jumpers and this twisted wire thing, sometimes it's not so straightforward to figure out which combination is active at that moment. So was it install? Of course, said that I only have this vintage software in German here. Actually, I have to say I like this look and feel. Okay, don't need Windows applications of this. Mm, it has some CP backup. Yeah, okay, fine then. Actually this graphics looks quite neat in my opinion and also I actually like this look and feel more than this Unix dialog thing. In my opinion it looks a little bit more modern than still a little bit old fashioned dialog thing also that not only our T2 but also the Linux kernel is using for the kernel config. Hmm, a little bit blowing into the floppy drive actually, fix the CRC error.
So I skipped over some things that couldn't read at all. Some PC desktop or whatever things. I hope the rest works like the backup thing that I'm interested in. But they also see that first of all buying vintage stuff on eBay is sometimes not the very best investment and also thanks God I didn't buy this from eBay, thanks God they were from the basement and um, yeah even even then floppies don't necessarily work after two or three decades obviously. Let's hope enough installed for PC backup and the AutoCAD discs will read. So we don't need a recovery disk. PC format. No, we don't want to use it instead of MSDS format and modern backup install can. No, we don't want to override modern backup or whatever. So Um, I find it a little bit funny that the internationalized direction names like uh, Inbox and Outbox or something um, really finds this always a little bit strange for internationalization. But whatever. At least now we know that this AMD DX40 is 26.3 times faster than an IBM XT or that an IBM AT was 2.7 times faster than an XT. There, yeah, so much for this. Wait. Anyway, let's find this backup thing and hope it works with these disks. I, by the way, mistakenly called this Norton or something. This is actually some central point software backup stuff. So let's see if that is compatible. I have already the feeling maybe not, but let's see. Last disk. Oh, something happens. We are really lucky. So this is compatible. Awesome. Wait, didn't hit the presenter. Okay, the German translation is of course really funny. Um, it's literally translated fixed drive. Sounds really a bit strange. Uh, okay, let me delete some things. Maybe this was backed up in 91, if that is correct. Okay, let's override everything we partially restored a minute ago. Before we run out of space. It was probably quite modern and novel back in the day that it automatically continued just inserting the disk. Probably this kind of things. As a child I was often amazed uh, to see this kind of new development and behavior when you always need to press yes, ok, enter um, and then you have a new modern software that looks graphically quite nice and has this auto continue features and such. So now the next problem is I don't have a mouse in the system. Hmm, that is sad. Didn't say any error restoring it. 